and they were about to close the door. I hesitated. I said to myself, I'm too late. I won't catch that flight. We are going to talk about that testimony. About two weeks ago, I scheduled a mini getaway for the weekend of the 19th and um, when I got to the airport on the 19th, I observed there were lots of uh, reporters there, but I didn't pay attention to that. My flight was about 7 a.m. and uh, I checked in, I went through security and um, when I got to my waiting area, my gate, I heard that no flights could, was leaving at the time, that everything was grounded. Anyway, after seven hours of being in the airport, my flight left around 1 p.m. Thank God uh, I got to my destination safely. safely. On my return to Jacksonville, my flight was scheduled for 4.20 p.m. I got to the airport by about, I got to the airport and went through security by about 2.30. And uh, at that time, I had gotten alerts that my flight was being delayed. You know, it got delayed from 4.30 to 5.15, then to 7, then lastly it got delayed to 10.45 p.m. I wasn't happy about it, but I knew there was absolutely nothing I could do because the airport was busy. Like there were so many people. Navigating your way around was so difficult. You were, you were weaving through people like this. It was just the busiest airport I had ever seen anyway I decided to go to my gate where I decided to sit down and read a few articles on my phone observe people and, and just relax I sat for about three hours and about 5.45 I decided let me take a walk all of a sudden I said let me take a walk and I was sitting my gate was gate A18 and um, I got up and I didn't know where I was going but I decided I'm going to take a walk and I walked towards the north so as I walked I walked I walked I walked a few meters ahead of me I saw Gate A30, A30, Jacksonville, Florida. It didn't say what time, it wasn't saying anything. It just said Jacksonville, Florida. And when, as I got closer, I realized that that plane had just boarded its passengers and they were about to close the door. I hesitated, I said to myself, I'm too late. I won't catch that flight. But remember, I didn't go with that intention. I didn't know what I was going to meet out there. I just decided to walk. Anyway, something told me, just go to the counter and ask the young lady. So I went to the counter and I asked the young lady. One minute. So let's continue. I went to the counter. I asked the young lady, is this flight going to Jacksonville, Florida? Although it said Jacksonville, Florida, I was still not sure. I was confused. I just couldn't understand this. I didn't believe that this was happening. She said, yes. I said, is there any way you can put me on this flight? Because my flight is delayed until 10.45 PM. She said, give me your, your boarding pass. I gave her my boarding pass, she typed, 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 
then I saw something coming out of the printer and she said here I said can I go in she said yes guys when I walked into that plane that aircraft everybody was was already seated the plane was very very full everybody was already sitting seat belt fastened and there was only one seat remaining on this aircraft that one seat for me when i think about it god saved that seat for me and i was just amazed and i just thought this is a miracle that this was god it wasn't something simple for me and to think of all these hundreds of people who were trying to get to the destination, whose flights were being cancelled, whose flights were being delayed, who just couldn't find an aircraft to take them to the destination. And me, without any struggle, it just happened for me so easily, so quickly, just because I shifted, I made the move. And I also wanted to share this story. Sometimes you have to get up and make that move. You, you might, most times you don't know what you are going to get into. You don't know what the results will be, but you are just trusting the universe. I always tell people that many times we have to make that move and the universe will meet us halfway. And when I decided to make that move, when all flights were being cancelled, all flights were being delayed, I simply made that move and boom, right there, just like that, I got a seat on an aircraft very, very easily. The most amazing part of this story is when I got to Jacksonville, I got home, I settled in, I got situated. I said to myself, let me look at my flight, the original flight. I said to myself, let me look at my original flight. Let me see what is going on. You will never believe me when I say that flight got cancelled. Had I not made that move, had I not take that walk, I would have been in a different situation, trying to get home, probably having to take a flight to a different state to try to get to Jacksonville, I had to work on Monday. It would be so much more difficult for me. But just trusting in my inner voice, remaining calm, remaining still, putting everything in God's hand, allowed me to end with the most beautiful story, which when I got home, I called all those, all the people who knew I had traveled, I called them and I said, I want to share something with you. God is good. <laughs> God is good. Look what he did for me. I remember I was texting my cousin, telling her, you know, I'm delayed, I'm delayed. I'm, I'm, my flight is at 10 something PM. But it happened so quickly that I didn't get to tell her before I left that I got a flight. And when I got to Jacksonville at, at about uh, maybe seven, I text her and I say, I'm in Jacksonville. She said, what? What happened? So I shared with her the story and she's like, oh my God. Guys, many times testimonies doesn't have to be extravagant. They doesn't have to be like huge. For me, this is huge. This is for you. This might be very simple, but it's a testimony anyway. The fact that I got up at the right time and make that move at the right time, get to that counter at the right time, and it was at the 11th hour because the plane was about to leave. The only reason the plane had not left yet, because I recall the lady who helped me, her co-worker asked her, do you think she will make it? And the lady who was helping me said, yes, they are going to defuel. I don't know what defuel means. I, I have, it's the first time I heard this, 
but when I got on the plane, I did hear the, the pilot say, we are, sh we are trying to balance the fuel wheel around, so we are doing something. I said, ah, that's what the fuel wheel means. So, yeah, this is the testimony, guys. God is good. Trust the process. Remain still sometimes and listen to that inner voice inside of you. And when you hear it, you will know it. And you will know when it's time to move. Many times we are in situations and we think that God is not hearing us and we think that our situation will never be answered. But he is working behind the scenes. He is pulling strings, putting them in the right places, waiting for that right moment to shift you where he wants you to be. I hope you like the testimony and I hope it gives you hope that Whatever you're going through, you will laugh tomorrow, you will celebrate, you will begin to trust God. Thank you very much guys for listening.